What is up guys and welcome back to another diecast review and this is of Takuma Sato's 2020 MD500 winning diecast made by Greenlight in 1 to 18 scale. Now this is not the standard edition, this is the figure edition. So we've gotten Greenlight figure editions ever since um, 2013 by Greenlight, sorry I went to Tony Kanan winner, and they have been limited to 500 every single year but this one in particular has been very hard to get and here's why so when these first came on pre-order on the ims website 400 or so of them were ordered in japan and the rest were pre-ordered here in the united states so these were very very difficult to come by and you can't get them for less than 500 dollars um is kind of the price that i'm seeing on ebay if you're willing to shuck out half of a grand for this, go ahead. But luckily I was able to get mine at retail, which was a fantastic, fantastic saving moment because I like my collection being like perfect. <laughs> so um, I did not pre-order this one and I managed to get it at retail, which I'm very grateful for. Um, so let's dive into it so the packaging and by the way the base car you can purchase for regular price still um there was quite a bit of the made but the figure edition um not so much unfortunately so let's go ahead and take a look at the box so first things first is the outer sleeve um of it you got sato drinking the milk for the second time the uh logo for the 104th with the second date on it um and of course presented by gamebridge shout out to zach veach um and then you have the picture of them crossing the finish line unfortunately it wasn't it wasn't like that where they were battling we all know spencer piggott yeah still mad about that um and then we got sato celebrating i'm surprised they didn't put him in a mask up here honestly um the back side of it the day after photos of him with Japanese flag on the car, the Borg Warner trophy and the wreath and a little bottle of milk. If you look closely, yep, there it is. There's the mask because you know, the COVID 500 champion of the world. So let's go ahead and look at the actual box. You have NTT IndyCar series, the Indy 500 logo, 2020 Indianapolis 500 champion Takuma Sato, you know, I was at the track um, when this race happened uh, with uh, Kyle Cuthbertson, uh, Joe Donahue, um, <clears throat> Brody, formerly known as Diecast Reviews, um, Winval8820 and those guys. Fun day. It was a fun day. Actually, the whole weekend was fun. Um, and it was really weird. Um, definitely an Indy 500 I will not forget. And then in the background, you can see the Speedway with empty grandstands because obviously fans weren't allowed at this Indy 500. Here we have him on the day after photos. Shouldn't he have like two fingers up? I don't know. On the back, you can pause to read this, but this is the story. Um, and uh, you can see the pose that they would do the figure edition on, but minus the helmet on the actual one because we all know how well green light does faces and then you got um picture him with the two there we go there's right hand gestures and then also this tape yeah that tape and also this is the first time since 2013 that we have had a non-andretti or penske car uh, win the Indianapolis 500. So let's go ahead and look at the um, part that makes this car so rare and expensive, or at least this um, set, the figure. So for the first time ever, the figure cannot stand on its own. The Rossi can barely stand on its own, but it still can do it. This one, it's impossible because it's literally one foot and it just ain't happening, Chief. Um, so they included a stand for him he it has a little hole here that you just pop into his foot and he can stand however if you want to do it right you put him in the arrow screen um to do it but anyways so on his helmet 
Takuma Sato style helmet um, with you Japan, which is still a thing. I mean, it's good that, that this charity is still going. I mean, it was created after the earthquake in 2011, and it's good that he's kept it going and he continues to support it on his car every single year. So that's really cool. Uh, you have his logo on the back of the helmet, Panasonic, which has been a long time sponsor of his, Takumasato.com, um, AB Consulting, I believe it is. I'd have to, oh, something consulting. I think it's AB Consulting. Uh, and then on the visor, Honda, Me Jack, People Ready. And then kind of the same over here, Honda and Me Jack. Honda, Takumasato's logo there. On the sleeves, um, you have Honda, um, Formula something. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Crap. It's not on the car. So it's that Honda Formula thing. They sponsored Hideki Muto. Okay. a, &A uh, All Nippon Airlines. Uh, NGK Spark Plugs. Yay. Couple other sponsors. Cup Noodles. And then People Ready. Yeah. On this one, Speedway. Bobby Rahal Automotive Group, uh, the logo for his 2017 Indy 500 champion, FWD, I guess front wheel drive, I guess, Tatao, With You Japan, People Ready Again, and again, one cool thing is he's doing the two finger thing, which is nice, um, and they got that tape, good job green light, um, so on his torso we got Honda, Me Jack, NTT IndyCar Series, a-Beam, Kihin, 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 there we go, Panasonic, People Ready, a True Blue company, if you didn't know, uh, Sparko, whoever the fire suit's made from, and you can see the sash here, it is actually 3D textured into the casting, obviously this figure, like all Greenlight figure editions, is made of resin, uh, Thor, Rahal Letterman on his legs, and pretty good sculpting here on the legs, um, People Ready, a True Blue Company. On his shoes, it says Evolvo, Sparko, Takuma Sato. Yeah. On his back, Takuma Sato logo, Honda, RLL, at Takuma Sato Racer. Panasonic, People Ready, Sparko. And you got a model of his ass. Yeah. So, with that, let's go into the part of the sets that a lot of people have which is the actual car. All right, Sato, you stay back there. For some reason, it's because this little resin piece is not really balanced that well with this figure on it. He's very susceptible to falling, so I'm gonna just lay him down for the moment. So here's the car. Very nice looking car. I think all the Ray Hall cars were on point, except for Spencer Piggott. Um, yeah, I'm actually glad that we, uh, the only reason I'm glad he won this race is because we got a fantastic looking car. Um, I would have rather had Dixon, but still. Mm. So let's go ahead and go over the sponsors. Yay. On the nose, we got People Ready, a True Blue company, which is like a staff recruitment company. And then like the logo is like True Blue, a TB, People Ready, blah, blah, blah. Um, Panasonic on the wing end plate here, Total. Um, on the nose going up, we got Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan Racing, Delara, People Ready, again, <laughs> uh, Honda Formula Dream Project, so that's it, that, why did I not see that, Kihan, Honda, NTT IndyCar Series, what remains of the original wicker that was supposed to be on these cars back in 2018, uh, the number 30, you got the indents for the, um, the air inlets for the driver inside the aero screen, a b e m, a b m, a b e m, whatever. On the aero screen, we got me jack. By the way, the um, color transfer is in person not as great. Obviously, you got diecast metal and plastic, and there's always going to be a kind of a gradation. Actually, if right here at the end, right here. You can actually see through the paint. Like it's kind of like a blue translucent. That's weird. So anyways, back on the arrow screen. 
Uh, you got Honda, NTT IndyCar Series, PPG. Now then, here's an interesting one. So for every Indiana base, now I know RLL is currently Ohio based, but they are moving to Indiana. But on every Indiana based IndyCar team, they have this logo on the arrow screen right where it's at on here. And it's Indiana, a state that works, which has been like Indiana's like motto for a while. They were even prominently on Ed Carpenter's um, engine cover, and I believe like 2015, I think it was. So, yeah, every Indiana-based um, IndyCar team has that. And then for whatever reason, this is an Ohio-based team. Uh, they have it. It's weird. But the Team Penske's don't. Again, weird. Um, anyways, in memory of John Rohm, which is somebody that I don't know. Um, probably a, somebody affiliated with Ray Hall, Lerman, Lanigan. And here, oh, you can see the decals kind of, yeah, not great. Um, anyways, you got me, Jack, with you, Japan, and Aero Paints. And now we look at this. Look at this paint. It is a nice metallic blue. Like, the camera does not do it justice. It's a fantastic looking uh, blue. Yeah. Now, mine is signed. Uh, I got this signed during the month of May. Uh, people ready a True Blue Company Firestone. For whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. People ready a True Blue Company. Inside here, where nobody ever looks. Um, you got Bobby Ray. Oop, come on, focus. Bobby Ray Hall Automotive Group. Uh, Norm Reeves Honda Superstore. Yeah. Uh, Keenan uh, Nissan Cup Noodles. Verizon, or, well, ooh, I caught myself. Um, NTT P1 Pull Award. Bouncing back up here, you have where the LED panel used to be, and now where the number of the car is uh, on the sides. Number 30, the electrical uh, warning logo, just telling you that this car does have electricity at some somewhere in it, so be careful, don't touch it. It will shock you. Um, 2017 Indy 500 winner, there, Sato, Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan, powered by Honda, of course. Like, seriously, it's unthinkable. It's unthinkable of Takuma Sato driving any, any other engine brand than Honda. Right? Right. Except for that time he raced for Lotus. But it was still a Honda engine. But Lotus. KB. 2011 was weird. Uh, powered by Honda. Uh, anyways, the Speedway logo, Panasonic. ESL 3D, which was also a sponsor of um, the Acura Team Penske program and now currently the Meyer Shank program. Uh, on the back, we got that nice metallic blue again with the number 30 on the rear wing. People ready with little orange or like gold and yellow orange streaks. Um, we got X Track on the gearbox. And then your Indy 500 Firestone tires. Now, like all 2020s, we got Firestone printing on both the front and the back of the tire. Thank you, Firestone. Um, there's your diffuser. Nothing really special there that we haven't seen before. This side, pretty much the same. No tech stick or anything like that. Though we do have decals peeling again. God dang it. Green light. Green light! Ah. But this side, pretty much the same. Though, no, there's a little bit of dirt there. Taken care of. So, there we have it. Now, if you want to get it kind of proper, just got to play with them for a few minutes. That's as close as I'm going to get. Damn it. This is where you I like play elevator music and say, please stand by. Anyway. Um, so there we have it, the 2020 Indianapolis 500 winning diecast by Greenlight in the 1 to 18 scale. Ah, what a what a glorious car. Finally, something a different team wins that's not an Andretti or a Penske. I was hoping it'd be a Ganassi. So close. So freaking close. Maybe next year, 2021 is our year, right? Right? Yeah, no. So anyways, that's it for this review, guys. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next review. Peace out.